When you are just learning how to run with your dog, selecting the right trail can be the difference between a frustrating and overwhelming run or a fun and successful adventure. In this video, I will go over what trail components make certain parks beginner friendly so that you can find the best places for you and your dog to run. I'm Chelsea with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior and welcome back to our channel. The first thing we need to consider when choosing a great Canacross trail is the surface. Softer surfaces like sand, dirt, forest floor, packed pea gravel, and grass provide the most forgiveness to our joints. This give of the softer trails eases the impact on both your joints and your dog's joints. Another consideration with trail selection is the amount of elevation gain. Trails with large hills will definitely be more difficult for you to tackle. While the variety can be fun, you want to avoid extremes. Too much incline will be hard for you to run up and your dog may lose steam, resulting in slack in your line. While too much downhill portion could result in too much speed and lack of control. Try to find some middle ground when selecting a good Canacross trail. When choosing a beginner friendly trail, we also want to consider the trail width. Trails come in a variety of widths from very narrow single track to large open fields. When running on a narrow single track, you will need to be aware of your surroundings as other people, dogs, or bikes may approach you from behind or pass you head on. As a beginner on a single track trail, you may consider moving to the side and allowing them to pass. Wider trails will allow you more room to pass distractions and work on behaviors like on by. Good. All right, let's go, let's go. The final consideration I take when selecting an appropriate trail for beginners who are just learning to run with their dog is park popularity. Many parks close to the city are often quite busy. Heavily populated trails sometimes provide too many distractions, making it hard for you and your dog to stay focused. When just starting out, fewer distractions will allow you to practice behaviors with your dog and focus Whoa. on the important things like proper form and having fun. Good dogs. No Good matter girl. where you live and what trails might be around you, I what encourage kind? you to plan your Canacross runs ahead of time. By considering the surface, amount of elevation change, trail width, and popularity, you can select the right course for you and your dog to run on. Starting with trails that you and your dog can be successful on will go a long way in cultivating a love for the sport so that you and your dog can continue to enjoy the trails together for a long time. I hope that helps you pick the perfect place to run. See you on the trails.